Are you overwhelmed helping care for an elderly parent or possibly both your parents or just elderly relatives? Sometimes you don't know where to turn for help and it's time to move them out of the house. They can't be alone anymore. Today, I've got an excellent resource for you, Roxana from Care Patrol. That's what we're talking about today. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Annie, Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley and I specialize in selling houses that are in trust and probate, uh, when a conservatorship is in play, and to help with senior relocation. So today, let's talk about helping you Maybe your parents have been living in their house or just one of your parents and you've been helping care for them and if you just don't feel like it's safe anymore. You don't know where to turn for help. Well, I've got Roxana from Care Patrol. She is an excellent resource. I have referred her to other clients and it's amazing how she can help. So Roxana, tell us a little bit about what you do. Sure, thank you so much for the introduction. Um, so I'm Roxana with Care Patrol and I am a certified senior advisor. Um, I work with families that are uh, no longer able to care for their loved one at home and I help them find independent living, assisted living, memory care or residential care homes uh, based on their care levels. So in a way it's kind of like when a realtor helps a buyer find a house? Yes, a very similar situation. So I do um, make my recommendations based on the assessment that I do. I do meet with my clients. Um, to figure out what the care levels are, the care needs. And I also discuss with the families what their budget is and also what their preferred location. And once I have all this information, I will come up with uh, three to four options for them and we will go and look at them. So are there many different options for people? There are quite a few options and um, honestly, a lot of the families that I've worked with, they had no idea that this, all these options existed. Uh, they all thought that nursing homes, skilled nursing facilities is the only option for long term. Uh, but there are residential care homes that are basically homes um, that are run by caregivers and they do have 24 hour care. So your loved one can have a private room or a shared room. Um, there are assisted living communities where they can have either a studio, one bedroom, two bedroom apartment. There, they have lots of activities uh, going on. They do provide care, uh, but they have to be a little more, in, more, more independent. Um, there's also memory care communities for those clients that have dementia or Alzheimer's, and they do need to be in a locked community. Um, and the last option would be independent living if you just don't want to live in your home anymore you, you want to socialize you don't want to worry about having to cook having to clean um, they do all of that for you including transportation Wow, I have to say I have seen some of those and I felt like it was like a senior going back to college like living in a dorm <laughs> you had all your They're friends and activities and your food yeah. yeah they were pretty neat I think people are kind of surprised by that sometimes I know I was so how do people pay for this service? Uh, my services are free to my clients. The way I get compensated is um, from the communities I work with. Um, I do have contracts with over 150 communities in the uh, Santa Clara County. Wow, that's a lot. I didn't even know there were 150 <laughs> facilities. Oh my and I gosh. have visited all of them. Um, so, yeah, you must know the ins and outs and how to protect people. I do wow. uh, check the care and violation history for all the communities that I work with because I want to make sure that um, I make the right recommendations and my clients are safe in the communities that I recommend. It's so interesting. I never really thought of our jobs so similar, but I try and protect my buyers. Mm -hmm. I go around showing them the good locations, the bad locations, telling them what exactly. to avoid, and that's what you're doing too. Yes, it, um, my job and your job are very similar. Um, it's just that I, I have to worry about the care. Right, um, the absolutely. Care part of it, yes. Oh my gosh, I love all this info. And essentially you get paid like I do when I work with buyers. The buy, I could drive buyers around for months on end, go to open houses, go look at houses and preview them for them, save them time. And no matter how much I put into it, I get paid when they buy. Yes. The seller pays me and you get paid when you place them. After I place them. Yeah, yes. interesting. So I, 
I have to tell you, you know, a little off the record, I used to work in a skilled nursing facility and I was a social worker there and every time I, I had a, a patient going, um, being discharged and they couldn't go home anymore, um, the families would come to me and would say, you know, where do you recommend? Where can they go? And I had a list of some communities and I always felt very uncomfortable giving out the list because I didn't really know where I was sending them. With my new role um, as a certified senior advisor, I had the opportunity and the time to go out and look at all the communities, all the residential care homes. There are some that I would not recommend at all uh, for certain reasons, but there are some wonderful communities out there that I would um, definitely recommend and I would put my parents in if they would ever have to, <laughs> to leave their home. Oh my gosh. You guys, this has been so informative, at least for me, I hope for you too. <laughs> um, so Roxana, the best certified senior advisor. Thank you so Santa much Clara for County inviting area. me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what I should ask too. So you specialize in the Santa Clara County area. Yes. Let's say you meet a family that lives here, but they want to, you know, have their elderly parent move closer to another family member. Mm -hmm. Can you help with that at Oh, absolutely. All? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So Care Patrol is a franchise. So I do have colleagues um, in 33 states yeah. and um, even in California, Southern California, Northern California, you know, just let me know uh, where you're looking to relocate and I can find the right person to help mm -hmm. out. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Roxanna, <laughs> thank you so much for talking thank to us you. and explaining this. This has been so helpful. All Roxanna's uh, contact information is below, so feel free to reach out to her directly. Comment below if you have any questions. We'll be monitoring this and answer your questions. And again, I'm Annie Baker. My contact info is here too. Please do me a favor and subscribe. If you like some of the videos I'm doing, give me a thumbs up if you like what Roxanne and I had to say today. And as always, until next time, have a great one.